Hey y'all, so I wanted to share with you guys a game that I really, really like that came out um, in December called Calico. So it's basically um, a game where you have a cat cafe and there's magical girls and obviously cats and lots of other cute animals and it's really fun. So I have played it a bit, but I have not played it in a little while. So I'm gonna show you guys just a little bit about it and we'll have a little playthrough. I know that there were some bugs in some specific tasks the last time I played it, but I don't think I've played it in a couple of weeks and there was an update. So hopefully those bugs are fixed and we can kind of go through like normal. So this is my house, my apartment upstairs from my cat cafe. And you do have a bed where you can go to sleep, but you can see on here, I just got on and it's like, I have bad vision, but 2 a.m. on Friday. So you can go to sleep, but you aren't normally required to sleep. But sometimes you'll have like tasks that'll say tomorrow or next day, whenever you have to do something and it'll normally work if you go to sleep. And there's a lot of things that I really just don't know what's happening. Like this, this cat that puts everything in negative. I don't, I don't know why. It might be a part of a task later on that I haven't gotten to. Um, there's a lot of different animals that you guys can see already that are in my cafe downstairs, coming upstairs. The red panda, a couple of cats, and um, I think this is an arctic fox over here. But you can pick them up and play with them, wiggle, and let's look at the commands. These are normally, if you're outside, you can have it follow you or go to the cafe, which means that they'll stay at your cafe, or this is if they're already there and you don't want them anymore. But You can do this, which is cute. Wear them on your head. You can also um, ride them. You have to make them bigger to ride them. You have a potion in your inventory that you can use to make them bigger or smaller. And as far as I know, it does not um, run out. You can do it forever basically and here's a little deer I think I made him little because obviously he's not the size of a normal deer I'm gonna turn the sound on I normally don't play games with sound just because I don't know sensory overload or something but there's some cute things in here so I'll let you guys hear it but I'm gonna go downstairs and like I said I haven't played this in a while so I don't really remember what I was doing <laughs> that bird is terrifying um I think I was doing some task where you have to fly on the bird because I'm not a bird person and I did not want to put the birds in my cafe you also have a cute little kitchen over here where you can make recipes and this negative cat is over here but I'll show you real quick how you do recipes because it's really cute um these are ones that i have some of them you already have when you get the game but a lot of them you can buy to my understanding you don't really have to make oops i hit the wrong button you don't really have to make anything but you can make stuff and put it in your um display case at your cafe and sell it and it'll disappear as you sell it
I don't know where the T is. What does it look like? Again, I cannot see very well. I'm trying not to put my face over the camera. Is this, what is this? Oops, yeast, vanilla. Is that tea? Oh, there it is. And you just basically yeet it over into this thing and then you go in here, grab it. It's so cute. I wish I could eat it in real life. Little cat boba. And then there's a little tray down there that you also have to throw it into. It throws things kind of far, so you have to stand a little bit away from it to make sure it goes into the tray. But basically what is in that tray, I can have in my display case, which is what you see um, on the top right over here. So stuff runs out. I don't know at what rate. I don't think that you make money from it, but I'm really, honestly, I'm not sure. You normally make money from doing the tasks with the people around the um, your little town area and the furniture. See, the mechanics are just like a little bit weird in here, but I still think it's really cute. The furniture is all stuff that you can pick out and buy at different points in time. So you kind of have to go every day to the people who sell stuff and hope that they have what you want and it's this oh i forgot i had the pig i love pigs um it's the same for the clothes like i oops that weird cat is there blocking it i don't hate the outfit that i have but i'll show you like the people in the town have such cute outfits on and i really want to have um ones that they have basically um, you can move furniture around in here. It's really not very complicated, but you don't have a ton of space. I don't think you can, um, like, upgrade or make your area bigger. I think it stays like this pretty much the whole game. I don't have- I haven't played through the entire thing or played through the entire story for sure, so I'm not 100% sure. I also- don't I feel like I'm doing something wrong I want to put the fox down okay okay nope that's not it okay there we go <laughs> I have little deer antlers on too excuse me and I normally ride one of the cats because birds terrify me um, so I have one of them that is big, so you can ride it. I don't know what, why they're standing there. Okay, you don't need anything. So they sell a couple of random things. What is that? A hyper ring? That's a toy. Ooh, that's so cute. I have that. They have, some of them have... Um, like a normal shop area where they stay at, but some of them kind of roam around. You can see on the map, though, where they are if you can't find them. So I think that person's name is Oliver. Roams around kind of more than the other ones do, but on here you can see as long as you've met the person, it shows you where they are and then there's another page that shows you what the person's name is and what they look like in case you forget if you're looking for someone for a specific task and you kind of start out in the middle in this heart area that's you can see where a cafe is and there's a little kind of main street area that has like the main shops and the mayor and stuff is over there That you start out with but then as you do different tasks you can unlock different areas of the map and i just finished unlocking the whole map i got like the mushroom forest or something i think is the last part that i unlocked so this is like kind of the main street area 
and they have little shops and you can go inside their store and like buy their stuff and ask them what they need but you don't actually have to you can just go and talk to them and get whatever they're selling see her outfit is cute her outfit is interesting i think she's the mayor if i remember correctly <gasps> is that a green bunny <gasps> yeah that was one of the tasks that was bugged before was one i want to see what they're selling first and then we'll go find the bunnies but oh i guess i do make money because he just bought a little um cat cookie So I'm gonna see what she has for sale. She just sells the clothes. No, no, no. See, like these are all plain and you can change the color of it and you basically have unlimited colors, but eh. I'll see what she has for sale too, real quick. I also had a cat that was floating in the air following me for a really long time that I didn't realize why that happened. I really have no idea what happened, but I guess it was a bug because it's not happening anymore. So she sells furniture. Her little store is right here and it's the same thing if you go inside and this is the clothing store. Um, this is Ash. Ash does, I don't know, I think Ash works at the furniture store and I'm trying to find their bunnies yeah so i think this is their house up here and there's something where i'm supposed to get all the bunnies and put them in this pin up here so i'm gonna see if i can do that real quick because that's exciting that we can finally do this task i don't know how many there are but let's see if we can find them i was so excited at first because i saw a pink bunny or something and i was like oh my god i want to put the pink bunny in my cafe but i don't i don't know what's gonna i don't know if we get to keep them or they're just gonna disappear because what happened before is i think there were there's seven of them or something there's like one for every color of the rainbow and two of them were glitching so oops i fell down where they just were not showing up at all and then some people were saying to restart it and you could get them or to get them in um kind of in that weird area where i just fell like weird areas like that where they'll get stuck but i oops am i stuck back here i could never get it to get them to show up so but now i guess i don't think i can jump up here can i oh yeah i can but hopefully I don't have to go very far. I have no patience for walking around without my cat, but I also don't want to jump on and off of him constantly. So you can see your tasks and like hold them on the page too. So these are the two that were glitched. So we'll, we'll, we'll do the bird thing after this. Um, no, that's the wrong one. I really, honestly, y'all, I cannot read this. three out of seven right okay so i need to find four more bunnies where's my cat <gasps> did my cat go back to the house no that's another thing that you can do in i don't want to call this setting but in the commands the animal commands that your animals that you bring around like with you if you have them like follow me they'll even if you put them down they'll stay around you but if you put go to the cafe which that cat probably had go to the cat i don't know what's happening on the side y'all but he has go to the cafe so he's probably just went back to the cafe when i walked um away from him i don't know if i'm if i'm checking this pigeon right now if that's what's happening three out of five I've, i'm check. i'm picking him up so is that me checking him Pigeon King, oh god. I guess I'm gonna walk around and see if the bunnies are close over here because... Oh, I see a purple one over there. So they're hopefully all over here. And then I can just go back home and... Um, get my cat or maybe find another one to ride out here. It's really faster 
if you fly, but again, I am not a bird person. I love them and I respect them, but they freak me out. And I prefer the cats. See, why, why is, why, why is a bunny <laughs> on my back? But it's okay. Here we are. Did I check this pigeon? Is this one of the pigeons that I already checked? Yep, maybe, I don't know, we'll see. Nope, here, stay out here. Oh, is that all the pigeons have been checked now? That's so exciting. I'll put these on here so they pop up. So now I need to talk to Maribel, and I honestly don't even know who that is. Does that say I did all the bunnies now? Let me double check that that's right. Now it says 10 out of 7. Okay, I guess we're done with that. So let me go talk. Ash was somewhere over here. I think. I don't know. I only remember Ash's name because they have the fire hair. I don't, I'm not sure what, I think Maribel's the pink haired one. Oh, what is that? What did I just get? I'll look at it in a second. I'm so excited because these tasks have been sitting here for so long. Is this Maribel? I didn't know. Oh, yep. Aw, cool. Okay. You also do get, like, sometimes more fun clothes from tasks. I'm gonna see, what did, what did they? I don't know what they gave me. What is this? Invert the colors of the world. So I guess that's what that cat has. <gasps> I forgot I had a broomstick. <gasps> oh, I don't even need the cat. Sorry, cat. I forgot I had a broomstick. <laughs> this is newer. This is fast, it's faster to fly. I just totally forgot I had a broomstick. This is the, I'm not good at very, very good at flying it, apparently. The lesbian gardening people live at. You kind of just go and talk every day and see if they need something. So see, she doesn't need anything, so mm, don't have anything to do. But there's a ton of people that you can talk to and they'll walk around and go to the cafe and all that good stuff. There's a mountain. Oh, well. So are these bunnies gonna stay here? Cause I'll, I'm fine with keeping the bunnies. So he wants me to get croissants on the menu. Do I have croissants? I'll go and make croissants. There's a witch that lives in that bottle up there that's very close to my house. My house is the one with the smoke coming out of the little chimney. And this is just so cute. This really, all that I need in a game is for it to be cute because this game was really buggy and I was playing it for like six hours a day when I first got it over Christmas. And the pink trees are so cute. They're like Animal Crossing when it's springtime and I wish you could just keep the pink trees all the time. 
The music is cute, even though I normally don't have it on. So I'm not gonna see if we have, oh, where's my cat? Yeah, he came back here. The croissant recipe. Bro. Okay, so we don't. Oh, where did I click on? I don't want to make that, sorry. We do not have croissant recipe. Let's see if we can find somebody that's selling it before nighttime. Which, again, like, it really doesn't matter. Like, you don't have to go to bed. And I've absolutely played through the night on here many times. But, I don't know. It feels logical <laughs> to go to bed. I feel like Oliver had it. Where is Oliver? By, okay, that's where, that's where they're kind of supposed to be, I guess, so let's go back over there, see if anybody has a recipe. The magical forest is really, really cute. That's probably one of my favorite parts, but I'm probably going to try to keep this not too long today and maybe do another playthrough another time and do some other stuff. Please, do you have a croissant? Is this a croissant? I can't see. That's... Cornet, sorry, I'm probably saying that wrong. I do not know what a cornet is, but it is not a croissant. Who else has recipes? I feel like they don't have recipes. Estelle, do you have recipes? Oh wait, no, what are you selling? What do you have? Ah, there we go. Oops. There's like weird mechanics in this game also. But I I feel like they changed it and so now I'm I'm kind of messed up on that. So, but that's okay. We did it, y'all. We're going to go make some croissants and then talk to Poppy, I guess, and then probably be done for the day there's something with like a magical cat in the sky that I've seen but I, I don't know what that means or what it is that's not I haven't seen it on my game I've seen other people talk about it that I know that I have to wait to get to that point i guess just ask the right person i don't know if there's a specific order that things have to go in or anything or you just kind of ask whoever you ask for tasks every day but i think i really just met all the people in the game very recently because i just unlocked all of the lands so I don't know what else I have to do. That cake is so cute. I'm gonna make a croissant. Oh, there's so many things to go into the croissant. Flour is this one. Sugar, sorry if it's hard for y'all to see it when the, it gets nighttime. I normally don't like to play games when they do that. When I play Minecraft, I always make it so it stays daylight all the time because it, it's just so hard to see. It stresses me out. Butter, egg, egg, yeast, 
salt. What is where's salt? Salt, 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 salt. It's not that, right? No, oops, knock everything over. It's over here. Oh, here it is. Salt. I hope I don't throw it over the bowl because I'm staying so close to it. Mm. Okay. Why am I not? What am I doing? I have to jump into there. Take it out. This is really unnecessary, but I think it's really cute that you <laughs> get tiny and have to throw all the things together to make the food. So let's check our quests. Make croissants, I did that. Why doesn't it say talk to Poppy? Let me put that on my, okay, now it does. Let me put that on my thing. And there's a lot of unexpected things in here too. Like I didn't know about the broom thing. There's not a whole lot of info, or at least when I first got the game, there wasn't a whole lot of info about it. And there's wasn't like a solid playthrough that kind of tells you what to expect in here. So I'm kind of just was playing it. And then I was super, super excited when I got the broom because I didn't know that was a part of the game like I thought we were just riding on cats and stuff but I love the broom and you don't have to like worry about leaving it somewhere because you get a spell for summoning the broom so even if I leave it at my house and I go somewhere like you guys saw earlier I get to summon it make it come back Oh, that's Lily. Where's... Where's your dad? Did he... These flowers are so pretty, they're like glowing in the dark. Let me look at the map and see if I can see his dad. Or her dad. Oh, look. Is he sitting outside? Where is he? Oh my god, I literally just straight up could not see him sitting there earlier. Sorry. That's cute. Okay, so I think we are good for the day and I will leave you guys with that. I think this game is really, really cute. It's really fun. Um, it's It was cheap when I got it. I think it was like $8 or $11 or something weird like that. It really does not cost very much money. So I think it's absolutely worth it to have it even if you don't play it very much and it's super cute and I really like the style the creator and all of this stuff there's a lot of queer characters non-binary characters and stuff like that in here too and I didn't show the um clothing options really besides the ones they had for sale but it's super customizable for what it is and I think it's really fun and cute. So you guys let me know what you think. If you have this game, what you think about it. If you want to get this game, you're thinking about it. I think you can get it on Steam as well for the computer. And I know that one had less issues glitch wise, but if it's what I, from what I can tell, I don't think there's really any more issues with the Switch version. So I don't think that it's, it's really buggy anymore. So yeah, let me know if you get this game.